Oh, hello. I have a 2006 Bounder with a Atwood level legs system that does not work. I've got power to the panel, key on, emergency brake on, all those kinds of things. No power coming out of this panel, which is the Atwood system here. And it's been a problem for a couple years now. Uh, the coach has got 20,000 miles on it, and I've been stranded a couple of times with no power coming to the panel or the lights blinking, the legs not going down or coming back up. So I've decided to stop screwing around with it. Although I've gone through the troubleshooting guide that I found online from Atwood. I'll try and take a couple pictures of that so you can get one if you need it. And uh, I'm putting this system in. A couple of buddies of mine, Officer Murphy, who's actually a cop and lives up the street, he's having the same problem, so he's happy I'm doing this. And a buddy of mine, Marty, suggested I try and videotape it, which I've never done before. This will be my first video, so we'll see how that goes. Um, fortunately, I do have a technical supervisor here, Charlie. Right, Charlie? So we're going to make this bounder great again, right? Right? Okay. My order of operation here is going to be to go find the high amp breaker and disconnect that because I do have power, as you can see, to the board, nothing coming out of it. I will strip all these wires. I'll put ring terminals on them and I'll connect them to the panel and then go ahead and uh, see how things work. Uh, if you can get this brochure here, uh, it does tell you where things are at in the coach. I don't know if I can find it quickly enough to show you. There it is right there. So that'll tell you which wires go to which jack and uh, I'll hook them up based on what uh, I've been told to do. I did speak with Brian at Gamma, super great people, uh, American made products does seem very heavy duty and um, it was 209 bucks plus I think tax I did spring for this additional um, remote which is rechargeable rather than putting batteries in so let's see how this thing goes I'm a fairly mechanical person but I am definitely not a uh, electronics wizard my father-in-law was, but he's dead, so that doesn't help me. So I'm going to go for this, and I'll take you guys along for the ride, and we'll see if I can't get this hooked up. So it's about, what is that, 4.30 or so? So I think it's going to take me a couple of hours. I may take a couple of breaks to uh, wrestle Charlie on the lawn um, or get some iced tea. I'm in Southern California, and it's Gee, I don't know, probably January 31st right now, 2020, and it's 80 degrees out. So, wish me luck. I'll be back. So, real quick, I ended up disconnecting the battery. Screwing around with those leads that close to the frame made me feel like there may be a problem with uh, some slippage and some arcing. So I beat up on that uh, breaker if I don't have to. So we're disconnected, no power. What I'm going to do is pull this connector off. Uh, these two wires are front left. These are front... Uh, I'm sorry, these are front right. These are front left. On the gamma system, so that uh, everything sort of lines up the way I want it to, I'm going to swap right and left uh, so that they sort of match the tires there. Um, so I'll do one set first and then I'll pull these off and then do the rears. Uh, plug the power back into the panel here and uh, set the um, controller and we'll see how it works. So this is the high amp circuit breaker. And to me, under that cover is the tripped lever, which I have pushed on, but it doesn't allow you to trip that circuit. Um, 
I'm just gonna disconnect it at my batteries um, and see where I get to give you some context of where it's at. There's the battery. By the way, that little pump there is a momentary sprinkler pump that I have with a couple of sprinkler heads that spray my radiator, my condenser, my tranny cooler. And this wacky stuff it was gonna be temporary, but it worked so good. Um, Cause man, this thing had a really noisy set of fans in it. It drove me crazy when I drove it compared to my old bounder. I love these bounders. I've had a couple uh, on top of several other motorhomes. So when I'm going up hills and such, uh, not only do I have a spare water pump for the coach if I need it, but I spray water, I fog these radiators, and man, it makes a big difference. So I will take the output lead off of this, one or the other, whatever's easier to get off, um, probably the outlet, so that I don't have a uh, live wire floating around under here, actually, now I think about it. And uh, I'll kill the power and I'll get started on my wiring. So real quick, I ended up disconnecting the battery Screwing around with those leads that close to the frame made me feel like there may be a problem with uh, some slippage and some arcing. So I beat up on that uh, breaker if I don't have to. So we're disconnected, no power. What I'm gonna do is pull this connector off. Uh, these two wires are front left, these are front, uh, I'm sorry, these are front right, these are front left. On the gamma system, so that uh, everything sort of lines up the way I want it to, I'm gonna swap right and left uh, so that they sort of match the tires there. Um, so I'll do one set first and then I'll pull these off and then do the rears. Uh, plug the power back into the panel here and uh, set the um, controller and we'll see how it works. By the way, the tools I'll be using are uh, just my drill to get things apart up in the dash and some wire strippers and crimpers. I'm, I'm going to ring terminal things. I'll uh, heat shrink my connections and I have checked power everywhere just to double check, even though really a test light would have done it for me. So I've disconnected the first terminal block and I'll get started cutting these wires, pairing them off and putting them onto the terminals of the controller. One thing that uh, you'll see here, if you can see it is, they're labeled M1 through M4 and the controller is labeled one, two, three, and four. So if you plug the wires you want and top left will be front wheel and so forth into those points on the new board, you should be in good shape. It'd be a bummer if you're operating left for right and right for left, so don't do that. My coach is actually wired backwards, um, where left is right and right is left as it relates to the board. So I'll flip those wires and should be in good shape. Okay, I'm halfway done. Uh, I've decided not to move the circuit panel for the coach. Uh, it'll bind up other wires, but I also do recommend the heat shrink. It makes things last a little longer. Um, this heats up with that little big lighter, which is, I don't know about you guys, but my wife is take my house, take my car, but don't take my little big barbecue lighter. So I'll have to make sure I put that back or I'll be busted. All right. I am back out this morning. I uh, just completed the installation. I didn't get it done last night. Quite frankly, I had some new cowboy boots on. They were killing my feet. So I bailed out to get my feet uh, out of those boots. But uh, everything worked just the way they said it would. I wired it up. I uh, programmed the remote and there's right hand jack going up. I'm sorry, that was left hand. I know my right from my left. There's passenger. Rear. Here's uh, all down. 
So everything's working real slick. Really happy. Uh, one thing I did is I left that uh, board there so that I got all my wiring squared away. And uh, it's really a neat thing. Um, people who don't want to hear me babble can probably turn the video off. I wanted to show, show you this. Um, like Charlie, I bought this motor home from a big dude. He was, he was huge. He was tremendous. And he used to step right here all the time, and he wore that down. So I made this piece of wood out of some birch I bought at uh, probably Home Depot. And the color inside this motorhome is not cherry, which I think is a misnomer. It's gunstock, like a like a little 22 rifle. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope this helps. I'd been looking for something like this and couldn't find it. And I am back in business. Um, oh, last thing. I think I'm going to hook these puppies up and make myself a small control panel here, manual, if I just want to sit there and not use the remote. It's redundant, I know, but I feel like it's something I could do. So take care, everybody. Well, one more thing. Thought I was done. I found this for my TV antenna, and I had to, so I'm hanging that on my steering wheel so that I don't uh, drive away with my jacks down. And then one other quick thing. Um, that water pump that I have under there spraying water on my radiator works just like that. Just momentary, on, off. And I think we're in pretty good shape. Charlie, you approve of all that? Huh? Charlie, give me some skin. Thanks. <laughs>